Okay, Akumaldo Crypto here with another Bitcoin update. Guys, we are approaching an apex here <laughs> that has never seen before. It's indeed. <laughs> I don't know what to say, but all the indicators, everything is pointing out that something must happen, right? I have been telling you guys this, of course, this is another chart I am using here moving average this is my moving average okay this is my moving average 23 this is my EMA the exponential moving average 55 I'm just using both to show you guys some of the bearish cross bullish cross it's a, a bit of a different chart just to give you guys a different perspective this is a 12 hours let me turn off the, the volume here a 12 hour chart okay and again we see this triangle here yes i need to to zoom in here a bit more uh okay i have my ishimoku cloud as well and this is this is my count right i have been yeah, since yesterday actually yeah this is my this is my w my x then we have this abc to finish our y we have here a z of the whole structure a, a triple combo remember this is the triple combo um it's a sidelines structure okay obviously in reality we won't have such a nice structure as we have here in this in this example here nevertheless it's a it's a it's a guideline we need to focus on the subdivisions and this is what we have here okay at least it seems uh, really really nice discount here and we are we are approaching again uh, we have this uh this triangle here yes and within this triangle we have another triangle which i'm calling this uh, the wave b okay we have an a then we have a triangle inside of this b here and we would have a c this is my this is my perspective if we look at the error side we have a triangle as well right it's it's difficult to argue that we are not approaching um some kind of a of a of an apex some kind of a moment of decision okay the market must move either up or down i am proposing that it's gonna move up okay so then we would have the bears would have more full to more full to go down okay to, to to establish uh, those targets here I am uh, I am considering this target a really nice one we have um, more than one uh, one algo target here we have the minus 618 minus 33 60 percent okay so then I marked it this would be 5200 we might not get there okay we might not get there we are we are with inside of this Ishimoku cloud we have the 50 percent retracement here that has contained this movement as uh, if we want we can use it as a uh, as the top of the triangle we are within we are above the 55 ema so it's a bullish sign we are above the <clears throat> 23 moving average we have kind of a it's not a cross it's a sideways movement for since like september okay since the end of september actually yes since the end of september this was the september 28th okay so um this is another chart with the take detailed uh with the detailed count again the w x y let me zoom out remember w here x y x z inside of this z i propose to have another w sorry w x y that's what we have that i am uh that i showed you guys in our other chart okay we have a w x y to finish this z wave here and then we have all those targets here they are unfulfilled targets because we have never those are all targets that have that has never been hit okay we had the the 50 percent here 50 percent here here and here but none of those targets have been hit so far so it's a 
It's a container, right? Yeah. Is it gonna hit those targets here? It's one possibility. I don't think it's probable. Okay, I, I think it's it's not gonna get as low as 4K. I, I don't know. It's really difficult to tell. I'm not a fortune teller. Okay, and no matter no matter who tells you that they know the truth, they know the direction of the market. Remember, I, I told I've told you guys over and over. They don't know it. Okay, this is a dynamic system. It's always changing. And what is quite telling me is this triangle here that we have inside of this B, this A, B, C, D, E. We would be finishing this E, which is absolutely nice, exactly where we have this 50% here. With this 50% retracement from this highest point here to this lowest, okay? I'm using this pivot here. Uh, just let me show you guys this pivot here. Where is it? Oh no, with this pivot here, this point here, it's our A wave, okay? And then we have the 50% here, exactly where I think we should end, not should, but we might end the E wave, okay? Let me mark it here. Yeah, green. That would be 6,550, okay? And remember, this has been a an area that we have been uh, hovering around for quite a long time, since September. So this chart here is telling me a lot. It's, that it's showing us this ABCDE, which I think it's gonna leave us to 7200, okay? If indeed we go, we break to the upside, which I think is gonna happen, okay? Uh, let's see another. This is the weekly chart again. Indecision, indecision. It's obviously what we're gonna see. It's this kind of chart in the weekly. Um, and this, I'm sorry. This is the daily chart. We are in this. This is my my classic chart. We have been correcting for 297 days. And this is the the picture, right? The whole picture. We have this as, as again, as our target, okay? If we go to the, this would be a strong support. Remember, I marked it yesterday. That would be the 127, 20%. The, the algo targets here, minus 618, minus 3360%. So we have a lot of uh, algo, algos and traders looking for this target here. They would, they would have sold here and here. I would have, I, I'm gonna sell it here at the B wave, which I think is gonna reach, uh, reach at least 7,100, perhaps a bit more. Remember, this is a 618, 65% of the whole structure. This 618, 65% here, guys, is uh, the Fibonacci retracement from this whole impulse wave. So he, we are, here we have, if we, if we touch the 618 here, that would be, what that would be 7500 i don't think you're gonna get there but we're gonna get to this red green line here that would be 50 percent of this whole structure here w and that would be like 7100 okay if we turn on the bb the bullish and band same old story it's it's a squeezing and it's squeezing it's showing the same story that we are gonna need to break see this thing guys this has never happened before. Let let's take a look at this. This has never happened before. Such a such a squeezed price action. This is showing us that something must happen. This is the market uh, telling us, okay, something is gonna happen, but you don't know what. Okay. The same thing with the the EMAs. Okay. Let me see the EMAs here. Um, we are above the twenty one EMA between the 21 EMA and between the 55 EMA and we are about to to cross this this uh this uh trend line here of the the upper triangle the upper trend line okay uh and then we would we would uh get to this area of the Ishimoku cloud remember i have told you guys if we close the day above this trend line in within this Ishimoku cloud it's really likely that we're gonna test the upper 
upper boundaries of the Ishimoku cloud that is exactly where we have this green line where we have the 50% here so and where we would have the this is the 200 EMA okay remember we need to to challenge the 100 EMA this is the 200 sorry this one here the, the, the white one is the 200 this is the 100 so we would need to challenge the 100 sit here above the 50 percent and then go and challenge this 200 ma that would close it the, that would be the end of this wave b here okay and um, this is the 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 whole picture okay let me turn this off and remember that this sequential is showing us the same thing yes if we look at the, the same resistance here the, the, the TD sequential is showing us it's in the same very spot, 17, 1, 7100. Okay, so pay attention, guys. It's not one indicator only. It's a, it's a, a, a all indicators together pointing to the same direction. That's why I'm telling you guys this. Um, and here, of course, we have my, this is my one hour chart. I, this count is a bit different, okay? Because I'm a, I'm considered this is an a, this is a B, a B. In reality, is almost as the same count. We have an A B C to finish this B here. I'm sorry, B is not here, but here. This would, this would give us a roughly a bit higher of a target. Of course, we need to challenge all those resistance, guys. Those resistance are not here by. Uh, I, I, I haven't put those resistance here arbitrarily. I have calculated them based on Fibonacci and based on historical moves. Okay, and here we have the 50%. This is a, this is gonna be a tough one. Okay, so in order to break above here, we need to establish a new high here to challenge this A. Where I called here A, but where I called in this chart here x okay is the same structure here we have a w x here i am calling it a why because i am giving you guys a different count it's, it's almost the same thing but as i see this structure here at one hour it's really difficult i count it i i count each of the microwaves inside of it and it's really difficult to not to not give the credit that this is a motive impulse wave down Okay, so it might be a, a, it's really likely that this is our A wave, then we have a B here. But that would indicate that B would go higher than in this case here. Okay, that's, that's the difference. And it's because of the extension, okay guys, when we calculate this extension here, um, A through B here, we have this target here. When we calculate this extension here, I'm sorry, this A here, I, I'm gonna do you, I, I'm gonna do with you guys. This is the fib extension. This would be our A, our A, okay, I'm sorry, again. This would be our A wave from the correction, okay? Consider the correction. A wave, this blue A wave here, then it would, we would get to this B wave here that would be our targets okay it's different that would be our c here the sweet spot for our c would be 8k okay and the b wave would be the, the, the at least 7600 if we manage to get a new high here new local high okay and we would indeed have a design the same a b c d e it's it seems to be the same structure but it's not we have a W here inside of the B, a W, X, Y. We have the Y, the end of this this B wave here, the Y wave here, the end of the B inside of this B. <laughs> it's confusing. It waves within wave. Remember, fractal-like structure, fractal-like fractal-like nature of Elliott waves. This the wave the wave B. Within this B yellow wave here, we have a fractal W, X, Y, Y finishing with a triangle that would lead us to those targets here. Okay, this is my count for the hour chart. 
which one is correct but i don't know quite frankly depending on the target that we get here but definitely we are gonna have a break a, a break out of this we we would get to this e here is our stop loss oopsie pardon me here we have our stop loss okay i'm gonna put it is a, a bit lower here okay if we get to 6 to 300 that's our stop loss disregard discount disregard the triangle we would break it down but as a rule of a rule of thumb when we have the e wave down here we break above that's that's the that's the structure okay as we have it here okay see the z here the z we, we might have the same abcde here here okay it's breaking above it's the same thing here break it's gonna break above okay it's great to the it's break to the upside it's um it's almost the same count but it's a bit different with this count here with uh with higher targets okay either this or this okay and um i think that's it okay we need to wait again it's squeezing and it's it, there is no way to go <laughs> okay and if we take a look at the volume let's take a look at the volume of course this is the the hour the, let me take a look at the daily chart the, the volume it's getting of course this is the movement right since the beginning but i would like to look at the volume here it's pretty it's it's going down let's take a look at the obv yes it's 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 never getting below this line here we kind of have a triangle here as well i, I don't like to draw triangles everywhere but come on right the, those triangles here are pretty pretty easy to, to spot again the same thing the same thing here same thing here daily chart triangle other with our rsi the the cmf is a bit different but here we have our C, uh, macd we are sitting below the the macd for the whole month i'm sorry let me take this for the whole month of september right since the, the beginning of september we are tickling we are sitting below zero if we break above it okay the the, the signals if we break above it would sign a as a, a bullish momentum okay this is a nor i see this going down okay I, I see this is a as a sign okay it might get it might break down here and cross it here and go down and we would have a histogram here okay it's a possibility but i am counting on this thing going up giving more uh giving a better price for bears for us okay for all of us to, to short bitcoin or to end this correction who knows this might be wrong we might have the z here it's not impossible we might be approaching the end of the correction i don't know i would count on the, on a on on one extra leg to go down here this is our c okay but we must be open to new and different alternatives okay so <clears throat> thanks for watching uh if you haven't joined us in our discord server pre please consider doing so crypto crypto trader educational institute and give me a thumbs up please <laughs> and subscribe to my channel and of course if you haven't followed me on twitter please consider doing so uh, i always try to keep there updated with my shorts and everything okay thank you very much and i see you guys later cheers <laughs>